All right, we're back at Silverwood Lake uh, just for another short session. I can kind of see the lake from here. Looks really calm. Uh, I'm about to be there in about five minutes. I'm gonna see if we can get on some fish tonight. It's been well over a couple weeks since I've been here. So just looking forward to getting out, making a few casts here and there, trying some different lures and uh, see if I can catch some fish. Um, let's do this. All right, keep you posted. All right, there's the lake. It just kind of looks real calm. You can see a little bit of slight breeze coming in and the water's just kind of moving slightly. Um, I really don't know, like I said, if they're gonna bite or not. Um, all I'm looking for is like one bite or two, I'll be happy. Uh, hookup is a bonus for me, so. We'll look for any uh, signs or activity that the fish are eating by looking for jumping. But uh, looks like right now it's pretty calm. And uh, we're gonna test the waters out as soon as we get there. All right, fishing fam, I'm down here at the spot. Um, like I said, I don't really hear anything. It's really calm. Uh, can show you around a little, but uh, I'm gonna throw I'll start off with a jerk bait and see if I can uh, catch on to anything or even, you know, pull a small one. Uh, like I said before, it's been a minute since I've been here, so you just never know. So uh, here it is. It's kind of right here in this area, my favorite spot. It's gonna throw out about 20, 30 feet and uh, see if we can't get on to any kind of little fish or see what's buying tonight. All right, man, here we go. Okay, here's what I'm using tonight. It's kind of beat up. I've used it before. I maybe caught like one or two fish on it. But uh, it's got this little bluegill piece right here. I like these little, these little markings. This is just a jerk bait. See if I can do anything on my first cast. Usually not, but if I get out there for, farther enough, far enough, you never know, you can entice one in. Looking for any kind of fish tonight. Bass, largemouth, striper, uh, take a bluegill, a little crappie. Um, 
what else we got here? Well, they got catfish. Believe it or not, I have hit uh, catfish on jerk bait. And uh, that's about it. Crappie, bass, or uh, I've also hit a trout on a jerk bait. So this, uh, I noticed my jerk bait though last time just swimming super funny. I could not figure it out. So maybe this is just a dud or something. Let's see. Give it a couple more casts and then maybe switch up it's something else. This was swimming kind of funny for me. Uh, I'm expecting a nice moon tonight too. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's swimming real funny. I'm going to switch up. All right, well, I put this one on. This one's a little, quite a different color. It's a little silver. Chromey chrome. Let's see what happens with the red eye. Let's see how it swims. That other one was just, I don't know, lopsided. Needs some work. So uh, the plan tonight is just to hit this spot and then just kind of move, just move slowly, try to see if I can, uh, like I said, just entice a fish to just want to take a strike and see what happens. Oh, this one's swimming a lot better. Can deal with that. Heard a jumper to my right about a hundred feet. Oh, seen another small jumper. Hmm. Hearing a lot of jumping now, just little flopping. Wonder what that is. Little bait fish or something. I'm gonna slow down my retrieve because I did feel a super, super tiny bite. Felt like something kind of tripped over my line, just very lightly. Sometimes they're hitting really soft. You can't even feel them. You just have to be in tune with what's going on. Sometimes they just rip it. They just...
pretty deep. One six nine one seven one. Not bad. So one and three quarter pound. Not a bad one. First fish of the night. Gonna go ahead and catch and release on them. Go ahead and get a pick though. Good one. You cannot beat this moon tonight. This is like beautiful. It's not even a joke. Only got one fish tonight, so I'll tell you what I'm working with. My favorite color. Little jerk bait action. That was my only real bite too. So I got one hit and then um, I landed him. Uh, luckily. And uh, going for another one here before I wrap it up. Um, but we'll see what happens. Stay persistent. It looks like they're fattening up just on anything they can see. Just slow rolling it, just going really slow, yeah. Super slow when you hit it. Might have been the only one in here. <laughs> Thank you. 
A little bit smaller, about a pounder. My second one, this one was a little bit smaller. Not even gonna weigh him. We'll get a nice pick though. Two striper tonight. I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna start packing up here. And this is like my last cast. I did want to kind of throw around a little jig, but we'll see if I'm if I feel up to it. So I can try to get onto a large mouth. Not bad. Another like one and a half pounder. Awesome. Just ran into a crew out here, uh, basically driving around with nets and uh, catching fish. They they like electrocute them or something, and then they they weigh them up. They said they're doing inventory. So they said the biggest fish they caught was like a five pounder, like a five pound cat. They caught a big largemouth and uh, just some regular size striper that they I guess they're doing inventory on to see what's in the lake and everything and uh, they throw them back it's pretty cool so I casted out my jerk bait and it snapped off and uh, while they were out in the middle I said hey would you look for my jerk bait and they found it and they gave it back to me I thought that was really cool I was super appreciative of them for doing that and I let them know that so I honestly think they said something about Department of Fish and Game or something like that. So that was really awesome. And they wished me luck. So uh, I'm about to wrap it up. Got my jerk bait back and uh, I'll be back another night. All right, my final count down here was three. Uh, caught three on a jerk bait. Uh, it's time to go though, it's too cold for me. <laughs> So uh, I'll talk to you later, guys. Peace out.